mercenary and necromancy. When he comes as a king, oh my God, he, he comes to implement justice and judgment. There's a dimension of God that is going to be seen in Africa that has never been seen before. If you check the mighty field marshals that rose from our land, if we use Idahosa, for instance, as a case study, he was the one that broke the arm of witchcraft in Benin. Benin was totally soaked. It was in darkness. Not in twilight, but darkness. And God handed over to him a mighty sword of the spirit with which he began to cut darkness unhindered. And it was noted that in the time that Idahosa was alive, there was no Christian that was upon the face of the earth that had the kind of authority he had. No Christian. No Christian. The reason for that authority was because of the kind of darkness. And when he stood and stood and missed his colleagues in the United States of America, they knew that what he was carrying was a measure that was higher than what they knew in America. In one of those meetings, those faith conventions, he, he missed his flight. So the day he was supposed to arrive, he was not on ground. So he had to, the next flight was two days later. The conference was running. And when Idaosa came, and it was noise abroad that he had reached, three crippled people stood up. Not because that Idaosa came, he has arrived. The demons that heard them checked out. Now, that was the measure of grace that God was willing to commit to the African continent. But because we are a people that don't understand heritage, all those dynamics of God's move, we did not inherit it. So God did not dwell among us. Now we are still trying to hunt for the things that God modeled in our corridor. Among the prophets that rose, even, even when you name Elijah, eh? Elisha, they said no prophet ever rose like Babalola. Not even Elijah. They showed us a picture, a picture of when the man went and challenged witches that we should meet by 4 p.m. around your tree. And the witches came out. It was a contest. People gave gap and were watching the action. And he told the witches that if you can kill me, he gives them two hours. Kill me in two hours. But if you cannot kill me, I will show up two hours later. So he went and sat somewhere with the witches were. And when time was up, the only thing the man did was that he called the name of Jesus. And that kind of fire that comes, physical fire, that Elijah used to call, it came and burnt off that witchcraft tree. We have the picture of the tree burning. And that fire was not kindled by petrol, by kerosene. It was not kindled by matches. It came from heaven. There was nothing Elijah did that Babalola did not do. And he did more. Because in a service like this, the man used to suspend during praise and worship. Think of that. He used to suspend in praise and worship when we are singing. He would suspend. Yoruba people, there are no set of people that are as fetish as Yoruba people. They saw something before they turned to Jesus. It was power. People left shrines. People left because God wants to dwell among the rebellious. He is willing to show forth his strength. All you read about God's generals, you didn't read the truth. The real generals were in Africa. But you see, there was no documentary that captured them. As much as I respect Catherine Coleman and I follow her ministry so much, she was ahead of her time. But that was how Idaosa was ahead of his time. He sent Duncan Williams to the president and said, I, Idaosa, charge D, give my son a space to preach. On national television. And the president said, Who is it? And then Duncan Williams took the message back. He said, I told him, and he's asking a question, Who is it? He stood up with his Arab and said, I dethroned him. 
in one month time, if he's still there, it means I'm not in that house. That guy was killed. The guy was killed in one month time. Then when Jerry Rollins came, he sent, he sent, he sent uh, Duncan Williams again. I in that house, I charged the allow my son Duncan Williams to preach on national television. Wait, you know Duncan Williams. Uh, Jerry had heard the story, so yeah. in NTA Portacot, there was one lady that hated him, so he refused to air his programs, even though they had paid. Then he now went there and they showed him the lady. He said, I eat Hosa, I suck you. Then he left. One week later, sucked. Ida Hosa. Uh, what should I say? What shall I must say? He started a crusade, brought T.L. Osborne. 500,000 people gathered in Lagos. Lagos Stadium, Surulere Stadium. The next day, Nigeria had a match with another country and they removed his equipment. And he came today. His equipment has been removed. He went on radio. They were doing program there. He, 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 he received the, the, the money. I, the whole son. I have decreed there will be rainfall and thunder, and that match will not hold. The government of Lagos went and set up their own equipment in the other stadium. You know, there's another stadium there. Testing by logo. With, and they begged him. When he came to inspect, he saw that the equipment were better than his own. So he said, okay. Nigeria will win 2-0. <laughs> In the days of faith, no, no man operated like that. There's something that God wants to unveil from the continent of Africa. And that thing will shake the world. Shake the world. I read about how it also died. He was on the dining table when he said, Oh my God, I'm ready to go to heaven just right now. Who is willing to go with me? All of them were. He said that three times. And after saying that, he now went to the lounge and sat down. Called the Bible school director. Gave him instructions. And he breathed deeply. And his spirit left him. That one was called home. Don't, don't confuse people that died with people that were called home. Some people died. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus. Kai, I will not die. I'll be calm. I'll be calm. I'll be calm. There is a heritage that we must draw upon. The whole world must bend their faces to look at Africa. And it must be confirmed in our time that the Lord dwells with us. That's what God wants to do. And the clock begins to tick from today. Begins to tick. Can you invite him into your family? Invite him to the place where the shrine is in your community. Invite him to the place where the Ada Aleku. Ada Aleku. Invite him there. Invite him there right now. Because he's going to dwell in Africa. 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 He will dwell in Africa. He will dwell in Africa. Such authority in the spirit that has never been seen before. Such audacity. Such power. The dead will be raised to life again. It is Africa's time of manifestation. God is willing. God is ready. The stage is set. Just like it was in the time of the Acts of the Apostles. The Apostles will act again in Africa. 
witchcraft will be dethroned. Evil governments will be toppled. Oppression will be broken. Men will be released from captivity. This is the time. This is the hour. Oh! Yakoselima kante bobori. Yeso sela simo kompreska falamo. Arama maisa kombela. Another story will be told. A story of redemption. A story of salvation. A story of authority and power. It will be told. It will be told. It will be told. It will be told. Souls will be saved. Ah. 